Okay, and welcome to yoga. We were supposed to be live streaming, but now we're recording. So if you want to stand up for me. Okay, feet, knees, hips nice and tall, string coming out the top of the head, hands on the ribcage, five deep breaths. Chin down one side and up. Taking the shoulders up, back and up. Trying to keep the hips facing forwards. Breathing in. Breathing out, going down through the spine. Relaxing as much as you can. Pull in the stomach muscles. Come all the way back up. And all the way down. And pulling in. And again, relaxing, relaxing. And pulling in. And just one more. And pull. Okay, hinging at the hips and the knees. And coming back up. And again. Again. And just one more. Okay, so focus on something in front, breathing in, pulling in, rising onto the toes. And back. chest up to the ceiling and back down. Circle the arms up in the chest, up to the ceiling, back down. Two more. And again. Okay, so nice wide position here. Arms straight out, just three deep breaths here. Tilt 
arms here, up to the ceiling. Okay, so you can either have the foot to the side of the ankle, like that, or there's a little nook just above the knee, pulling in the stomach muscles, holding here, three deep breaths. Don't you follow or else I'll follow it. Other side, it might be easier off the mat actually. So either to the side of the knee. Three deep breaths. Focus on something in front. Okay, so front of the leg here, just a normal little quad stretch. Pulling in nice and tall. And it's a two-way stretch, so what you're going to do is push the foot into the hand and lean. <laughs> On the side. So just get the quad stretch first. Push the foot into the hand. And Try the other side again. Not as good that side. Try and that side. So it's just someone's pulling the wrist and you're pushing the foot into the hand. Okay, so we're going to come down onto our mat. So, we're just going to do five shoulder bridges. So, we're going to breathe in, pull in the stomach muscles. We're going to peel the spine off the floor, vertebrae by vertebrae. Looking for the diagonal line, arms over. And then, we're going to reprint the spine vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way back to arms back, breathing in, pulling it, peeling the spine off the floor, looking for the diagonal line, arms over, reprinting the spine all the way Three more for me. If you get any twinges in the hamstrings, just walk the feet a little nearer to the bottom than you'd normally have them. Trying to keep the knees nice and stable on the way down because you'll want to go for a little bit of a wander. And then just take a full body stretch. Okay, so we're going to do a move now called rocking the baby. So we're going to take opposite arm to leg, around the outside of the ankle. The other arm comes down the outside of the leg and you pull it towards it and you rock side to side 
just like you rocked a baby. Once that becomes to feel a little bit more comfortable, I want you to relax the leg. Relax the leg here, hold in three breaths. Bringing that leg in, we're just going to swap sides. Opposite arm to leg here, down the outside of the leg, just rocking side to side. Now you may find that you're looser one side than you are the other. And then once that kind of feels comfortable, you release the other leg. You feel a big stretch in the bum here. Three deep breaths. And then just coming back to your neutral position here. Okay, so we're going to take hold of one leg just behind the leg here. I just want you to flex and point, flex. Point, flex, and point, circling the ankle, and then the other way, and then very gently just hold the leg towards you a little bit so you get that big stretch of the leg. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to climb up the leg as to whoever's comfortable for you and you're going to extend the other leg but we have it off the floor like it's in a giant capital L shape. It is the weight of the leg that creates the stretch. Three deep breaths here. Bring that leg in and release. Okay, so just take it behind the other leg Flex and point here. Yeah. Flex and point. You can have the other knee bent so it doesn't put the pressure on the back. Circle the ankle. And then the other way. And then gently pull. Then just climb up the leg as to whatever's comfortable for you. Giant capital L shape here. Three deep breaths. And relax. Full body stretch. Okay, so just coming up to a sitting position. One leg in, one leg out. We're going to come down the inside of the leg, just as far as where it's comfortable for you. And each time you breathe out, I just want you to sink into the floor. So breathing in, breathing out. This arm is going to come up and up. Breathing, breathing. Then this arm is going to come under and around the leg. You face the leg and gently pull. You'll feel a little stretch in the old glove handle there. They always talk about that, that thin love handle to muffin top. <laughs> I do. <laughs> muffin top doesn't sound very nice, but a love handle sounds like someone would like to grab hold of it. 
changing sides for me. Okay, so down the inside of the leg for safety. Breathing in, each out breath you're just trying to sink a little bit further. This arm's going to come all the way over here. And then it's going to come under and around, gently pull. So the reason I'm stretching the hamstrings out really is for this next exercise, which um, can give you a little bit of hamstring cramp. So that's why I'm just stretching out the legs. So I want you to send one leg back behind you like that, so that you're nice and comfortable. And the leg, the foot can come through to underneath you if it's more comfortable for you. And you can even rock side to side just to loosen up the muscles a little bit. So all I want you to do, I want you to pick up the leg and lower leg, the leg. Pick up the leg and lower the leg. Pick up the leg and lower the leg. Okay, if that's fine, place one hand down in front of you for balance. You're going to pick up the lower leg and you're going to reach around. That's big quad stretch here. Now some people bring the foot right to the bum, I tend to push the foot into the hand, but it's whatever's most comfortable for you. And relax. Just bring in your legs in just to release that. And then swapping sides. So sending the leg out. Hamstrings kind of happy with what we're going to do. Placing the hand down, reach around, hold in there, three breaths. So it's one of those things you might find you can do it really easy one side but not the other. And then release. down the front of the thigh when you pick up the leg the bum might come up a little bit just think about relaxing the hip and then changing sides for me And push. 
One last time for me. And relax. And then again, just come back to the knee. Okay, so just come to a sitting position. Just have a rub it out. So, two legs out in front. Again, for comfort, same arm as leg, but down the inside of the foot. Now, traditionally in yoga, yoga is like pulling on the toes. Oh, that frightens me slightly. <laughs> And then the other side. So what we're looking for here is not for you to be very close to your legs. We're looking for a stretch in the shoulder, the back, as well as a stretch in the leg. Okay, so here's, here's the real stretch. Opposite arm to leg. Down the outside of the leg, as far as you can go, you'll feel the difference. <laughs> oh my God. Can you, okay, you can feel it, can't you, the difference? <laughs> yeah, long levers, that makes it worse. <laughs> so, the yoga and Pilates challenge is 30 breaths, which is about three minutes. Yeah? So, you've got to think of any of these exercises being done for three minutes. It's, it's, you know, a long time. Mm -hmm. So, I thought what we'd do is we'd just take one of them, a simple one, <laughs> and we'll just indulge in it for three minutes. Uh, when you see people in these crazy yoga positions, they might have taken two hours to get into those positions. So, they don't just go, da da, <laughs> and they're there. It usually takes a long time to get in. And normally, a yoga class could be anything up to three hours. So then, that, you know, really subtle, and that's where um, you know the Bikram Yoga came in, which is yoga and heat, which makes sense. Yoga has originated from countries that are, that are heated, so it makes sense. Do you know what I mean? But if you're in heat and you're doing yoga for three hours, you've got to be really bendy after that. <laughs> you've got to be really bendy. The only problem I think was when yoga was done in heat years ago. It was done outside in the sunshine, all gorgeous on the beach, you know. Um, whereas now they're in compact studios where everyone's sweating on top of each other and there's lots of bugs going around. So I think Big Pram Yoga is absolutely fabulous. They need a bigger space, <laughs> they need less people in the class and a bigger space. So I just want you to take one leg in and leg out. And all we're going to do is we're going to indulge in this. So there's three little sections to this. We're going to time it a minute each, each little section. So down the inside of the leg, just as far as you can go. And all I want you to think of is each time you breathe out, you're going to relax into the movement. So yoga is supposed to work the body and relax the mind. Taking this arm all the way up. Big stretch here, reaching, reaching, reaching. Same sensation, you just relax and into the movement. So 
So they reckon 10 breaths is roughly a minute. going, stretch going. Then this arm is going to come under and around the leg. You're going to face the leg and then gently pull. Breathing deep and relaxing as much as you can. And this arm is going to come all the way over here. And just imagine someone's pulling that wrist. You're feeling the big stretch all the way down the side. into it, keep relaxing there. Um, 
again, you should feel a lot looser. Now, some exercises require the stomach muscles to work. And if the hamstrings and the legs are tight, then the exercise is really hard. But if the hamstrings are loose, the exercise is really easy. So we're gonna just do an exercise here now that you should feel the difference in. So you can place the hands underneath the bum if you wish to keep a neutral spine. You're gonna bring the knees in to the chest. And I just want you to extend, 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 extend. And I'm keeping that going for me. Just do about four more. Just bring the knees in and up side to side. So that felt okay, yeah? So, do you remember this exercise we did at the beginning? The giant capital L and chin. And chin. This is a bit yoga artist. And chin. And chin. Four more for me. And then just bring the knees in and rock side to side. Okay, so you've got a few options here. You can either have the feet flat on the floor. This is your neutral position. This should feel quite nice. If you've no lower back problems, you might just want to relax like this. And if you want to do the true yogi style, you can place the soles and the feet together. So it's up to you which one you do, whichever one is fine. So I just want you to close your eyes. I want you to take five deep breaths. And then with each out breath, I just want you to sink into the floor. just where you are. I want you to think of all the tension draining out of the pelvis, down through the thighs, through the knees, through the calves, through the ankles and out of the feet. Take three deep breaths. Thinking of all the tension coming up through the torso, into the rib cage, into the chest and the back, and into the shoulders. I just want you to drop the shoulders down into the floor. Take three deep breaths. Tension, drain it out of the shoulders, down through the arms, through the elbows, through the forearms, through the wrists, and out the hands. 
take three deep breaths. Getting heavier and heavier, wider and flatter against the floor. I want you to scan your own body. Be aware of where you hold tension and then with your own breath, just try and release it. Ever so gently, just roll the head from side to side, just to loosen up the neck muscles. And then come back to centre. Let the facial muscles be slack, the jaw loose, the forehead smooth, and all the muscles around the eyes just nice and relaxed. Just visualise all the tension draining out of the face, down around the back of the head and into the floor. Take three deep breaths. <laughs> One last time, I just want you to scan the rest of your, the body. Just be aware of any little nooks and crannies where you hold tension. And just with your own breath, just try and release it. time just open your eyes and all I ask is that when you come to standing you find the easiest way 